The ketogenic or keto diet is a low carbohydrate, fat rich eating plan that has been used for centuries to treat specific medical conditions. In the 19th century, the ketogenic diet was commonly used to help control diabetes. Before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share so that I will be motivated to do more reviews which can help you in the future. Also, if you finish watching this review video, and you finally decide that you will give the keto diet a try, then I will recommend you click on the first link in the description of this video you're watching to get it at a discounted price. The ketogenic diet has also been tested and used in closely monitored settings for cancer, diabetes, polycystic ovary syndrome, and Alzheimer's disease. However, this diet is gaining considerable attention as a potential weight loss strategy due to the low-carb diet craze, which started in the 1970s with the Atkins diet, a very low-carbohydrate, high-protein diet, which was a commercial success and popularized low-carb diets to a new level. The ketogenic diet typically reduces total carbohydrate intake to less than 50 grams a day, less than the amount found in a medium plain bagel, and can be as low as 20 grams a day. Generally, popular ketogenic resources suggest an average of 70 to 80 percent fat from total daily calories, 5 to 10 percent carbohydrate, and 10 to 20 percent protein. For a 2000 calorie diet, this translates to about 165 grams fat, 40 grams carbohydrate, and 75 grams protein. Many versions of ketogenic diets exist, but all ban carb-rich foods. Some of these foods may be obvious, starches from both refined and whole grains like breads, cereals, pasta, rice and cookies, potatoes, corn, and other starchy vegetables, and fruit juices. Some that may not be so obvious are beans, legumes, and most fruits. Most ketogenic plans allow foods high in saturated fat, such as fatty cuts of meat, processed meats, lard, and butter, as well as sources of unsaturated fats, such as nuts, seeds, avocados, plant oils, and oily fish. The ketogenic diet has been shown to produce beneficial metabolic changes in the short term. Along with weight loss, health parameters associated with carrying excess weight have improved, such as insulin resistance, high blood pressure, and elevated cholesterol, and triglycerides. 2,7. There is also growing interest in the use of low-carbohydrate diets, including the ketogenic diet, for type 2 diabetes. Several theories exist as to why the ketogenic diet promotes weight loss, though they have not been consistently shown in research. 2,8,9. A satiating effect with decreased food cravings due to the high fat content of the diet. A decrease in appetite-stimulating hormones, such as insulin and ghrelin, when eating restricted amounts of carbohydrate. A direct hunger-reducing role of ketone bodies, the body's main fuel source on the diet. Increased calorie expenditure due to the metabolic effects of converting fat and protein to glucose. Promotion of fat loss versus lean body mass, partly due to decreased insulin levels. The diet is hailed for dropping pounds, burning more calories, reducing hunger, managing diabetes, treating drug-resistant epilepsy, improving blood pressure and lowering cholesterol, as well as triglycerides, the major storage form of fat in the body. People have reported improved concentration, too. We see pretty dramatic benefits, said Dr. William Yancey, director of the Duke Diet and Fitness Center. The goal of the ketogenic diet is to enter a state of ketosis through fat metabolism. In a ketogenic state, the body uses primarily fat for energy instead of carbohydrates, with low levels of carbohydrate, fats can be converted into ketones to fuel the body. For ketosis, a typical adult must stay below 20 to 50 grams of net carbohydrates, measured as total carbs minus fiber, each day. Crossing that threshold is easy, 
A thick slice of bread adds 21 carbohydrates, a medium apple 25 and a cup of milk 12. It's very restrictive, said Carla Prado, an associate professor and director of the University of Alberta's Human Nutrition Research Unit. It's not just bread and soda that are on the outs but high sugar fruit and starchy veggies like potatoes, as well as too much protein. Also, dieters have to be on high alert for hidden carbs, often invisible to the eye, yet coating that seemingly keto-friendly fried cheese. After going through this review, personally I will recommend you go and get smoothie diet and test it out for yourself because I see it beneficial for you in the long run. Remember I put a link to the page on the website where you can buy it for the cheapest price for now.